All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another alcoholic session. Today, on Wicked Wednesday, we have another IPA from Wicked Wheat Brewing. This is Pernicious, or Pernicious India Pale Ale. I don't know how you want to say it. If you look up the definition of, of Pernicious, it's uh, not good. But this says this hop delivery vehicle is crafted to be enjoyed fresh and often. Hand selected New Zealand, Australian, and American hops set this beer apart from all others. Its drinkability and clean finish will lead you to never look at IPAs the same way again. And it is the silver medal recipient in American style India Pale Ale 2015 at the Great American Beer Festival. Now this is a very similar beer when it comes to alcoholic content to what I what I have drank in the past. It's uh, brewed out of Asheville, North Carolina. But this is 7.3% alcohol by volume, which usually, in my opinion, before starting this series of IPAs, kind of meant that the beer was going to be gross. But it's one of two things. Either one, I'm getting used to IPAs, or two, I'm just wrong altogether. You know, it could be either one. And today we're going to be trying the Morning Star Farms Veggie Chicken Nuggets with a Texas Pete wing, Buffalo Wing Sauce. I never even knew they made it. I'm gonna put the rest of these back in the freezer so they don't thaw out. All right, the first thing we're gonna do, that's our chicken, is we're gonna wing, wing sauce these things up. Let them get sitting for a second before we... Oh yeah. Oh man, it smells like Texas Pete. And it's the consistency, not so much of a wing sauce, I wouldn't imagine. But I am neither nor wing sauce aficionado nor beer aficionado. Those look pretty. It's got the Texas Pete smell, but it's just a little bit off from the Texas Pete smell. It's got its own little twang smell. And here we go. Let's get this. Let's get this going. I had bought this at the local Kroger's, where I usually buy most of my IPAs because the selection is, is good. Oh, this one's super light. A super pale ale. Those things smell. This is a very pretty beer as well. I mean, that's super light in color. I drank a couple of these last night in, pre in preparation of being able to give you guys a good description of these. I want to get better as we go. See, I'm still single digits into this, into this series, which has made me take stock of what I'm drinking and try to taste the, the differences in it. And I will say that you can taste that this has multiple hops. See, it's got, it says... Uh, Hand selected New Zealand, New Zealand, Australian, and American hops, and you can tell that when you drink this one if you've drank several. Now I ran into a gentleman yesterday. I was going to get something else, but he recommended this, and he's only been drinking IPAs for about a month. Just a random stranger, super approachable. Just so everybody knows, we every time we go somewhere, anywhere, somebody stops us and talks to us about something. And beer was the conversation topic yesterday. So. I will say that I was pleased with the fact that the 7.3 alcohol, I drank three of these yesterday and it did not leave me feel bad. I didn't have a headache this morning and I still achieved what I was trying to by drinking alcohol in the first place. I got exactly where I wanted to be, enough to chill out for the rest of the evening off of those three, which is really rare, really rare four or five, you know, depending on the size of man, woman, whatever. You got to pay attention to that or you'll end up drunk on a sidewalk in the middle of the city. All right. Just like any other IPA, it's got that bite. And uh, I will use a similarity. This reminds me of the white zombie white ale that I showed a couple episodes back. This is really good. It's, uh, it's light. It's not as heavy 
as a hazy IPA, seeing as how this is a non-hazy, last week's was a hazy, I can definitely tell the difference in the consistency. It's not as thick. <clears throat> it's really hard for me at this stage to to know about the zests. If you go online and look it up, it says it has a tropical zest. I've not been able to pick that out of any of these IPAs. The tropical zest just hasn't presented itself beyond the IPA bite. So let's go ahead, look, they soaked up that sauce nice. Let's go ahead and give one of these a try. These are all veggie. Now they've softened up a little bit because they're nuggets. Not very hot. Still somewhat of a Texas peat flavor, but I'm not really, whoops, they're slippery. I'm not really tasting the, the buffalo. Now the nuggets are good. Add a little bit more to it. I don't either. We didn't get it up, or it just ain't very strong. Because in the last, in the final bite, I tasted a little bit of buffalo, but I like the hot stuff, y'all. I like the hot stuff. All right. Now here we go. Now that we've added a little bit more, now with the initial taste, the beer does go well with the sauce. I'm assuming that's what you're going to look for when you want some beer and some food and you want them to go together. You would like for one to complement the other. Now the real test is to take a drink and then take a bite and see if it makes a sour flavor in my mouth. It's, that's not something I'm going to want. Beer still tastes relatively the same with a little bit of added heat. Not much, but... Let's go with number two here. The more sauce helped. But, I just, I'm not getting that buffalo. I'm not getting a buffalo. I'm, I'm just, this is just Texas Pete. But not as hot. You know, Texas Pete's hot. Good hot. This, it didn't sour. The beer goes well with it. So I would definitely recommend the Morning Star non-chicken chicken nuggets. And I would recommend this on anything else that you're going to eat Texas Pete on. But... I don't think that I would eat this on chicken, as in trying to satisfy that hot chicken wing taste flavor. I'm probably going to leave this out and, and go with another brand. But this is good and would work on anything else that you would eat Texas Pete on. It says medium heat. And I will for sure definitely recommend the beer. You know, the beer is, is really good. Now... I will say it one more time if I've not said it a thousand. IPAs are a select taste. They, in my opinion, are for expanding your idea of an alcoholic beverage because so many people, myself included, are guilty of buying a 12 pack because it's convenient and you get more for the, for the price. A six pack of IPAs will run you anywhere from ten dollars to fifteen dollars, and you can get twelve. Excuse me, you can get twelve Miller Lights for twelve ninety nine. So the price comparison obviously is off. But by purchasing these IPAs and drinking something just a little bit different, I'm investing in the history of this company, Wicked Beer Brewing. Any of the other ones that I have purchased this. 
It is because that I want to support local and non-local small time breweries. That's what I would prefer to drink if I can afford to. If you can't, you can't. And for no reason am I doing something to make a stand. This affects the market diddly. But I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying bringing it to you guys. And if you guys are enjoying it, make sure and let me know. You can recommend a beer. You can recommend something to try with the beer. But I'm going to sit here and finish my not nuggets, my not chicken nuggets. And I'm going to drink my beer. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and tell all your alcoholic buddies. Maybe they like to watch somebody else drink and they won't feel so bad about themselves. Sit survival guide. Chuck and deuces.